summer is in full swing, which means the risk of heat stroke and other heart related illnesses have increased. That's why we have Dr. Greg Silverman here joining us live to discuss how to protect your heart in the heat. Good morning, Dr. Silverman. Good Thank morning. you so much for Good being morning. with us. So it is how well, it's going to be even hotter towards yes. the end of this week. Yes. So how does heat affect your heart and who is more at risk? Well, remember what happens in the heat is your vessels, your peripheral vessels dilate. And so you start sweating and get trying to get rid of some of that heat. The problem is, is patients who have heart problems or other significant problems may not be able to regulate that very well. So it's very important that you watch how much they're sweating. If they stop sweating, which which takes you basically from heat stroke from heat exhaustion to heat stroke, which is once you stop sweating, you start getting cooler, and that's a real problem. That's an emergency. What are some other signs that we well, should be looking out well, for? Well, basically just just the stopping of the sweating, or the or just being absolutely exhausted when you're just sort of your heart can't keep up. You can't keep up with trying to get regulate the heat, and that's a real problem. So if, we're, if we see someone with these warning signs, what can we do to help? Well, the first thing you do is, is try to cool them down. Get them inside. Get them a, at least under, a, uh, under some sort of shade. Give them something cold to drink. If not, put ice around them. If you see that they just cannot, cannot cool down, start putting ice around them. Get them to the emergency room. If not, just try to keep them, bring them inside, and remember to, to always say, you got to drink a lot of water. You got, and it's got to be cold water to cool your body down. For those that work in a hot environment, Dr. Silverman, mm. what tips can we give them? Mm. Take frequent breaks. That is, get out of the heat as often as you can, somewhere in the shade, somewhere to let your body kind of cool down and get back to where, where it's normal. Um, wear very light clothing. Certainly, I like, I like sunscreen, and we've talked about this yes. before. Wear sunscreen, wear hats. It's something that takes your, uh, just out of the heat, out of the direct uh, effects of the sun. Especially if you feel, because I mean, everybody knows their body. When something doesn't feel right, get out of the sun, get into the shade, right. make sure you're hydrated, of course, right. take breaks like you said. All those are very good tips. We just have to remind people that it's hot here. I mean, yeah. it, it, it really is. And the problem with being hot here is that you can't cool down. That is, that it is so humid that you can't quite, you, you, you're, you're, system can't it can't get rid of the fluid that it needs to it, it won't evaporate off your skin quite as well because it's so humid here and so you got to be very very careful about that and and uh, again reiterate take frequent breaks watch those people who are on certain medicines maybe ask your physician does this medicine affect how it is that I am in the sun. Certain diuretics can do this, where they already get rid of some of the fluid that you already had. So be careful with that. Be careful, take care of yourselves and also your children. They're gonna be out and about this summer. Take care of them as well and reapply and reapply and reapply, reapply. some sunscreen. That's right. Thank get them in, so get them out, put them out in right. the sun, but, but, but watch them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Silverman. Nice if you have again. a question for Dr. Silverman, all you have to do is text that question to the number on your screen. That is 361-855-6397.